everyone, my name is Alaria. Welcome to another episode of Sunday School with CYC. Let's start with a quick prayer before I tell you about one of my favorite saints, okay? Let's go. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Thank you, Lord, for giving us a new day. Thank you for keeping us, being us safe. Please, Lord, help us, help our families, and help our church stay safe during this time and help us learn from this lesson. Amen. Hey guys, so our lesson today, before I start it, I'm going to give you a really important date. July 31st, that was on Friday. So on Friday we celebrated St. Ebenob. He was born in Nihisa. While he was still a young child, his parents taught him the Christian faith and how to love Jesus with all his heart and how to love the church very much. But sadly, his parents went to heaven when he was when he was 12 years old. They were very rich. Okay, keep that in mind. And then Saint Abinov loves the church, so he decided to go to the church. So during liturgy, he heard the priest encouraging everyone to confess their faith and not to be afraid from the Roman emperor. The, what is what it doesn't mean the Roman emperor? Roman emperor is, emperor is a big king over many little tiny countries and usually there are many governors. Governors are in charge of the little um, little places and then they report back to the Roman Emperor. So after their church, Saint Epinoc decided to give all his money to the poor and needy people. And he didn't leave anything for himself. And then he traveled and went to a city called Samanud in Egypt. And that's where Archangel Michael appeared to him and encouraged him to confess his faith and told him, don't be afraid, I'll be there to help you. And if you get hurt, I'm going to, I'm going to help you. Don't be, don't be scared. So he went there and he went to the governor of Samanud. He tortured him and he tried everything that he can, that he, that he can do. But nothing was working. Saint Abnob, his faith was so strong and he didn't give up. So the governor of Samanud started believing in Jesus. Can you guys believe that? He started believing in Jesus and he had a strong faith in him as well. Then they both went to the governor of um, Atrib. To the governor of Atrib. And then they went there and they told him, we love Jesus and we're not going to do anything without him and whatever you want to do, you can do, but we love Jesus. So what did they, what, the governor of a tree got really mad. He tried torturing, torturing them. Nothing was working. He got really tired of um, the governor of Samanud, so he decided to kill him. But he died while he believed that Jesus is the best person to be with and there's nothing better than to be with Jesus. So, and then St. Abinob was still alive, and then the governor of Atrib tried torturing him again, and then nothing was happening. Saint, the Archangel Michael kept healing him and helping him through all of this. So, the governor of Atrib got so tired of all of this, and he was like, okay, I'm done. I gave up. He ordered his soldiers to kill St. Abinob. And then why, um, St. Abinob he saw an angel waiting for him with three crowns. The first crown was be because he was so young, the second one because he was brave, and the third one because he believed Jesus until he died. He didn't give up, un he didn't give up at the end. So after St. Abnob died, there was um, a saint called St. Julius. He wrapped him up, he took his St. Abinob's body, he wrapped it up, and he sent it back to his hometown in Nahisa. So, do you see this is a picture of St. Abinob? He was, he was wearing white clothes, and that resembles his pure heart and all of his love towards Jesus. And even though he was a young kid, he used to do a lot of good things. And he's also wearing a cross, and that shows that he told everyone that he was Christian and he was proud of it and he, he was proud of it so and then so we can know that the cross is very powerful and it helped him be brave and not be afraid of anything or anyone okay 
So that's our lesson. Let's go on to our verse for today. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Hebrews 13 verse 7. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Hebrews 13 7. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Hebrews 13 verse 7. One last time. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Hebrews 13 verse 7. Good job guys on the verse. Let's go on to the craft now. Craft. We're going to be doing a cross like the one that St. Ebeneau is wearing, was wearing. So we're going to be using some crayons if you want. Scissors. Sharpie so that you I will be using a sharpie so that you can be able to see it and a pencil a piece of yarn or a string a ruler oh, and a hole punch if you have one okay so let's get everything out of the way so let's start with a pencil and then make a straight line And we're going to start by cutting it out. Once we have our cross cut out, we can get the hole punch to make a small hole up here. Like this. Or you can use a pencil and you can poke it. And then we're gonna get our string. We're gonna put one side in here. And then we're gonna tie it. You can ask your parents for help at this point. This is really long, so I am gonna I'm just gonna cut it. Make 
make sure you get the string the appropriate size that you want. Okay, once you have it tied off, this is how it's going to look like. At this point, you can color it or add any decorations that you want. So see you guys, you can either wear the cross or hang it up. Good job guys on the craft, you did an amazing job. Don't forget that Jesus gives us the saints to learn from them. So we can learn how to be brave and to be proud that we are Christians like Saint Evanove. And remember that Jesus loves you so much, okay? See you next time, bye!